Dear 15 year old Desi, you're about to try out for your first WA state team as a bottom major for under 16s. You get to trials and you complete two of them before you unfortunately pull yourself from selections because you don't think that you'd be good enough to be selected. And you had troubles dealing with and processing the prospect of failure. You never liked not being good enough for something and you were always your harshest critic. If only I could go back and tell 15 year old you that failure is not something to be scared of and is in so many ways the key to success. I wish you were kinder to yourself. You made it a goal of yours to be selected as a top ager, and you were. You were selected for under 16s and under 18s, and you were also named captain of the team. I hope that you're proud of yourself. You balanced school, early mornings, and late night trainings, national trips, and your family and friends. You're now 17 and you're about to graduate from high school, and you're about to be going into a whole new world. You feel nervous and apprehensive, and this is normal. You'll go to university for six months and actually figure out that this is not for you. And I want you to know that that's okay. As you grow older, you will realize that you as a person often do what makes you happy at your core. And for that, you should be proud of yourself. You begin working full time and you start playing SPL. You get selected in the squad of 15 for the Williston Tigers and you couldn't be more excited. What I will tell you is that this is gonna be a hard transition for you mentally, as you'll be going from the starting five and a captain of state teams to starting from scratch and essentially earning your spot again. Earning your spot in a team though no longer scares you and your outlook towards this challenge and transition will actually occur more than once for you during your time playing basketball. From state to SBL and NBL one to WNBL. This hurdle doesn't deter you from the desire that you had to make yourself a core part of any team and to compete at a high level. Through training extra hours, relying on your support network to help you get better, you persevered and you earned your spot. You will sacrifice friends' birthdays, milestone events, school functions and family occasions to get to where you wanted to be. Before we get to the good, I wanna be honest with you and let you know some of the battles mentally and physically that you'll have to overcome through your basketball journey. You won't be in the starting five, you won't get court time. You'll race from work to training and back to work and from work to games. You'll feel underprepared and sometimes really overwhelmed. You'll suffer from anxiety. You'll only get on in the fourth quarter. You'll get subbed out for making mistakes and for not being focused. You'll feel frustration. You'll feel disappointment. You'll break your foot twice. You'll dislocate your shoulder three times. You'll dislocate your fingers and you'll partially tear your ACL. And this will, all of this will make you question if you have the strength to bounce back and go again. You'll sometimes not feel like training. You'll sometimes lose sight of why you fell in love in the sport with the sport in the first place. You'll think that scoring is everything and determine if you have a bad or good game by how many points you score. You'll be way too hard on yourself and you'll tell yourself really negative thoughts. You won't realize the value in every moment, every game, every training session. You won't realize how grateful you should be to be able to play sport every day. In doing this, you are unfortunately self-sabotaging your own experiences, which I wish I could stop you from doing. But as you grow older, all of this will eventually make you appreciate the good, which I want to talk to you about now. What you will do is you will get court time. You will learn how to prepare for games and trainings coming straight from work and to learn how to mentally decompress before you enter a stadium to switch your focus onto games or onto practice. You will get put on in the first quarter. You will make a starting five. You will travel with a WNBL team and you will be a part of a WNBL organization. You will be named captain of the Williton Tigers and you'll be a part of two championships. You will be named in an all-star team. You will experience an irreplaceable feeling of adrenaline and endorphins each time you play that you just simply can't put into words. You will get goosebumps when your team win important games. You'll feel an immense amount of gratification when you see your teammates succeed. You will meet and build relationships with some incredible people and lifelong friends. You will find mentors that help you grow as not only a person, but also a player. You will build resilience. You will learn to know the importance of being a multi-dimensional player. You'll learn to play the game based on effort, grit and heart. You'll be kinder to yourself and allow yourself to accept that at the end of the day, Playing this game year in, year out is a choice and is something you choose to do because it is something you love. You will learn that sport is something you can't play forever, so to savor every moment. One of the most important lessons you'll learn about this game is that there is and you are so much more than how many points are next to your name. And once you realize this, you'll learn to love the game even more 
as it is something that truly does allow you to see that there are many pockets of opportunity for you to be impactful if you want to take them. Whether you are on the court or on the sideline, and once you realise this, it's such a powerful train of thought. The reason I make mention of this to you as your 15 year old self is because you're about to embark on a whole new chapter of life and I want you to understand this concept and mindset will be so transferable for you as you grow older. There is so much more to the game of life outside of how many Instagram followers you have, how many people view your stories or TikToks and how many likes or number of comments on photos you receive. Similar to basketball, your value is not weighted on the numbers that are next to your name and realising that makes you invaluable. I write this to you as a 28 year old woman who is so proud of everything you have overcome and achieved. The pain and the lows you experience will be temporary and you'll be far more than just a basketball player. You will be a loyal friend, a loving daughter and big sister, a supportive teammate and mentor and a team manager at a mining company. So please keep smiling through the ups and the downs. Be kind to yourself and know that after every storm, there is a rainbow.